Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick video on an app that I found I've been using a lot, actually a service I've been using a lot lately over the last year or so. Um, so this was a happy accident. I'm bringing my kids to the library. Uh, throughout the summer we would go once a week and check out books and you know the usual thing. Um, so we're going to the library and as I'm checking out I see a little placard, a little card or newsletter there that talks about the digital offerings that the library has. And so, you know, I said, okay, well, what specifically do you have? And the library media specialist said, well, I don't really know. Um, basically, the card is right there. You can take a look at it and, and take it home. So, I mean, this is my library, but I'm assuming most libraries have a lot of the same offerings. So I go online and I check out for my library. You know, they have uh, a lot of digital offerings, products, and stuff like that. So they basically indicate that they have, you know, ebooks, audiobooks digital magazines and stuff like that. So one by one, I start working my way through the system and signing up for these. Now, the nice thing about this is that you're signing up for all of this and it's free. Uh, as a member of the library, uh, which is, is a free, you know, service. So as a member of the library, all you're doing is going over to like RB Digital or Jasmine and you're signing in with your library card number, your library account. Um, you create a password and then you can use the service. So I checked out Jasmine, I checked out RB Digital. RB Digital is really nice because you can see that the magazine apps now are you know part of RB Digital. So the nice thing is if I go over to RB Digital, it will pump me through my library and then I can basically read uh, or listen to any of these audiobooks. I can uh, take out, check out magazines. I can look at ebooks. Um, RB Digital works really well. I like it. Uh, the challenge with RB Digital is if I see a book that I want, um, some of them are available right away and some of them you have to wait, almost like it's a, a quote unquote real book in the library. So, as an example, one of the audiobooks. Uh, that was available and I'd have to sign in right now but one of the audiobooks that was available it wasn't available at that time so I basically put like a hold on it and then I just got an email last night uh, that the book was available I think it was actually the Marie Kondo book about cleaning up and tidying up so the nice thing is with RB Digital I can grab you know a, a magazine and so what I'll do is I'll open this up on my iPad. I don't really use my iPad as much as I probably should. Um, so I can, you know, get ready for a flight or have it in my bag. And if I stop, I can read popular science. I don't really subscribe to magazines. When I do, they sort of just pile up in my house. But I can subscribe to popular science, you know, check it out, and it can stay in my uh, bag in you know in my iPad and when I'm done with it it's gone it stays for about two weeks I believe so RB Digital is really nice um, some of the other uh, you know offerings are nice digital flip books this tumble books is is okay I wish it was a little bit better but the killer app for me is Hoopla so if I go online and I search for Hoopla I can see all of these different services. They have an iPad app, an Android app. So the nice thing is that I can put it on my iPad. I can also put it on my Android phone. So when I go to Hoopla, the really cool thing is I can basically sign in. And when I check things out on Hoopla, they will go over to my other devices automatically. So I can pull it up on my Android phone. I can also read it in my browser. Uh, I can read it on my iPad. And so... What I'll do is, you can see I don't have any offerings that, you know, for this month, uh, but I can go through and I can see uh, my Hoopla will show the things that I've checked out in the past. Um, and I can, let's see, favorites. So you can see I've been reading a lot of uh, graphic novels. Normally, when I would go to the library, I would sit with my kids and make sure they were fine and, and sort of just let them explore but I never had a chance to sit and really dig through the graphic novels or the the comic books that were there and so with Hoopla what I can do is I can quickly check out three four or five of these graphic novels of these comic books and I can save them to my iPad and I found that that allows me to you know save one read a chapter or two see if I like it or not if I like it I can follow through and, and keep reading it um, 
And so the other thing that's nice is I can get audiobooks. Um, the audiobooks work the same way. I also have, so if we check this out, I can get audiobooks. I can get, um, what else is there? Where's the piece? All right, so I can basically go through, we'll do it up here. So I can get audiobooks, movies, music, comic books, ebooks, and TV. Uh, don't really check out the TV side. So you can see a pretty decent offering of TV shows, Nickelodeon, PBS shows, stuff like that, um, some Comedy Central. So decent, ver you know, offering of TV shows in there. Uh, a lot of ebooks. This is predominantly uh, one of the things that I'll grab. So I can get a a, a um, audio book. I can get a ebook. You can read this ebook in the proprietary reader in Hoopla, or you can have it read. Uh, you can read it in Kindle. So if you're a Kindle person, it'll pump it over to Kindle. You can read it there. Um, I can also grab while I'm here uh, comic books. I talked about that. So I've been reading a lot of comic books with my kids by myself. Some of these, you know, more adult theme comic books I can read and and really enjoy the time to you know to dig into this genre. Uh, music is available as well, so I can basically download these to my uh, device and listen to them. And this is all free once again. Movies, so I can pull up these different movies, save them to my device, and watch them. Um, if I have Chromecast, I can beam that elsewhere. That's another video for another day. And then audiobooks is is where I started. So the nice thing is that I can basically, you know listen to watch these things so i'm going to look at this book that i've been reading um you know i can rate it i can uh check it out and i checked this out a couple days ago and you can see that this is going to return automatically on the 2nd of february so that's about two weeks three weeks if i'm done with it and i could see what other areas i might be interested in once i'm done i can play this in the browser when i'm done i can just hit return now and it'll say that it's going to send it right back. So as long as uh, I'm, you know, I can continue to check it out and continue to review it if I like it, but I don't have to. Um, so also what's cool is I can go into the comic books. I can hit resume. And what it will do is it'll open this book up in my browser. Um, so the cool thing is, you know, if I'm away, I can pull up in my browser, I can download it elsewhere. If I'm a teacher or I want to show this to someone else, I can pull it up in my browser and, and display or read it there. So Hoopla really offers a lot of opportunities. Um, the only uh, quote, the only weird thing, it's not really weird, but the only interesting thing to think about with Hoopla is when you first sign up, so you're going to basically go to Hoopla, you're going to sign in using your library credentials, um, once again, go to your library, uh, Google your library, and basically search for the, the library or the county library and say digital, see what is out there. If you have, you know, whatever services you have, try them out. You can sign in with your library credentials. If you can't do that, talk to your librarian. I'm not your librarian. But basically sign in and see what you have access to. If you don't have a library card, get yourself to the library and sign in for a library card. They're incredible. Um, but sign in with your library card. Start it all up. Uh, if you have the Hoopla subscription, it's incredible. Sign in. The only interesting thing, weird thing is, um, so when you sign in, what they'll do is for everything that you're checking out, your library is paying for a service. So my library is part of a county library. So there's about four or five, I believe, libraries in the county. Um, and what they'll do is they will pay for a certain amount of you know, uh, subscriptions or a certain amount of borrowing uh, per day. So that might be five, 20, it might be 100 uh, people allowed to borrow at a given time. So what I've noticed is uh, later in the day, if I try to check something out, so what they'll do is they'll put artificial constraints on what you're allowed to borrow. So for me, it basically says, okay, you're allowed to borrow five titles a month. Okay, five titles is a lot, considering it'll take me a while to get through an audiobook, a comic book. So you got five titles a month. So that's one limitation. The other limitation is if I had opportunities to borrow right now, what it would do is it would stop me as we get later in the day. So what I've noticed is 
if I want to borrow something, I, be, I have to go first thing in the morning. So what they might do is the library will say, and I don't know how they organize this, but from searching online, it seems like what libraries will do is they'll say, okay, we have 25 or 100 um, borrow, you know, uh, of opportunities to borrow per day. So as you get later in the day, those opportunities might dry up. They might also put a constraint and say, okay, we'll, we'll not allow people to borrow after noon. Um, and the idea is to keep costs down for the library, and I totally get that. So if I get home from work, it's 6, 7 o'clock at night, I try to borrow something, it'll say, you can't borrow right now, you need to borrow in the morning or borrow after midnight when your library resets. Um, so that's the only the only weird thing or interesting thing is sometimes you'll try to borrow and it'll tell you that there's no more opportunities to borrow. So all I do is first thing in the morning I go and I basically look at my favorites and I look at things that I want to check out and say, okay, I didn't have a chance to, you know, check out this book here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to favorite this thing and then tomorrow morning I'm going to borrow it. So you can see it's available for 21 days. Um, and it goes right to my device. So once again, that is the Hoopla app. Incredible app. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's an opportunity for me to really, I've used my, I've been using my iPad much more often now because of the Hoopla app. Um, so really great opportunity, um, you know, to, to read more, experience different things. If you're an educator, it's a great opportunity to pull up Hoopla in your class so you can basically, you know, grab that piece, pull up a book that you're currently reading, open it up in class, read through, you know, pull that graphic novel or that comic up in your class. You can zoom into, you know, specific things, uh, but basically you can pull up in your class, uh, read, read it on your device. It's awesome. I love it. It's all for free. Uh, definitely recommend the Hoopla app. And also check out what your library has to offer. Once again, if you're not a member of a library, get yourself to a library. Get a library card. Um, it's a free service. It's an incredible service. Your library media specialist will love seeing you. Um, so definitely check it out. See what digital offerings are out there. And definitely check out the Hoop Lab. All right. Hopefully that was a benefit to you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment if there's an issue, if there's something I messed up. But by all means, have a great day.